Hey, racing fans, why not wander over to the barns? And we'll meet at Trainer's Corner. pick a winner when we're at the races so I am here with trainer Steve Henson and he's going to tell me what I can look for at the horses when they're walking around in the paddock so we can pick a winner. Steve what do I need to know? Uh, you should know that I'm not a really good handicapper <laughs> so um, we're going to have a real tough time. You know what Carmen when you're looking here at Hastings Park what we try to do here is um, the first thing I'll do is I'll look at uh, jockey trainer combinations. Around here that's pretty important because the, the top three or four riders usually ride for the they're the same barns over and over again. So if you see a, a top rider riding for somebody different, pretty good indicator that horse is fairly live. Uh, the next thing I'll look at is just the overall appearance of the horse. Uh, is the horse uh, nervous? Is the horse uh, on his toes? Is he flat? Uh, you know, does his coat look good? Just uh, little things like that. And then, you know, the next thing I'll look at is just how they present themselves in the paddock. You know, like, does that horse look alert? Um, if you look at this horse, it's got all the equipment on, it's got the blinkers, it's got that, the, uh, the ring bit on, or if she's got a D bit on. Um, this horse to me just looks ordinary. Yeah. You know, um, turned out well, not really. Um, now you got the five horse, um, this, that's Dino's horse. And you know, this horse is athletic looking. Um, up on its toes. Up on its like. toes. Uh, I'm not really, like I said, about crazy about the bandages in front. I don't really know what the purpose of them is. Uh, here's the seven horse. This is uh, one of Harold's horses. Now, Harold's horses are always pretty well behaved in the paddock. They just kind of come over and um, I'm very partial to gray horses. If I'm just kind of looking, this horse catches my eye all the time. Yeah, just, pretty. it's pretty. It's <laughs> pretty. Uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of going through the motions. There's no life to it. Right. Um, does that matter? Not really. Sometimes they, you know, they don't need to be bouncing in here all the time. Okay, we got the two horse. Uh, one of Robert Mabins. Um, you know, if you look at this horse, it looks compact. It looks... Uh, it's foaming at the mouth. Does that mean anything? You know what? He's probably got a, He's probably just swish, sw uh, washed his mouth out, and he's probably got a tongue tie on. He could have a leather, a leather bit in there, and they'll chew on the bit, right. so it just kind of lathers it up. That's uh, not a big deal. But if I'm looking at that horse, I'm throwing him out right away. He's out. Why? Because he's little. Oh, so little. size makes a difference. Uh, in, in this particular case, yes. Yeah. Um, here's the four horse. Um, hmm, interesting, outstanding looking. Got a good coat, a little bit washy. Uh, if you see under the belly, just under the front legs, there's a little bit of, he's a little warm. That's not really a good thing. But you also notice Dave Wilson's on, I don't know who Charles McDonald is, so this is a whole new experience. Oh, I see him <laughs> over there. Uh, yeah, Dave Wilson riding him. This horse has probably worked here. So um, sweat under the belly. Uh, you know what? If so a horse good. is sweating in the paddock, it's not a good thing. No, okay. it's not good. It's okay for the trainer to sweat, but not for the not for the <laughs> not horse. For the horse. Well, good to know the history of the trainers yes. and the oh, riders. Oh yes, very important. Yeah. If you see, uh, you know, uh, one of the top three or four riders on, you know, somebody's horse that normally they don't ride for. Like I said, you know, sometimes those are the, the telltale signs that this horse is set, right. all dressed up and ready to go. Now this horse here, um, it's on his toes, but he's more being a little on the goofy side. He looks kind of nervous. Yeah, I that's was going to say goofy, but you can say nervous. <laughs> is uh, that a that, you know, bad I, sign? That's not a, it's not a good sign. You, know? you want a horse that seems calm? I want a calm horse that's calm, get on its toes. Now the two horse, again, you know, just kind of flattish. Um, two horses I'm throwing out. Now the three horse here, uh, Robin Overshots. This horse is, uh, looks like he wants to be in the show ring. But you know, he's turned out very well. He's got a good color to him. Uh, very, very athletic looking. Again, the four horse. Uh, something about this horse just kind of catches your eye. I don't know what it is. It's just something that catches your eye. I, the five it's horse again. Ah, uh, yeah, it gets kind of to go with the gut. Uh, Dino's horse again, the five horse. The six horse, a little bit on the flat side. Yeah. And then again, Harold's horse, the seven horse. You know, never throw Harold out. It's a nice big horse. Does and also, it doesn't uh, matter if the horse is big or little. I like him bigger, yeah. yeah. I don't like them real huge, but I like them to have some size to them. If I'm betting this race, I'm taking the four and the five. And going from there. 
Thank you very much, Steve. I have definitely learned a lot, and I think that uh, I might be able to pick a winning horse next time. You're welcome, Carmen. It's uh, like I said before. This is just a, there's, it's not rocket science. You look at the individual, look at the connections. Um, you know. I'm pretty sure we could pick winners if we carried on doing this over and over again. I mean, I've only picked one winner all year. <laughs> so, um, you know, maybe together we could pick a winner. And But it was good. It was fun. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.